everybody, welcome to Rose's Cafe. For dinner this week, Rose suggested we try lamb as a change of pace. We've had very limited experience with cooking lamb, so we did some research. Lamb is a very flavorful type of meat and therefore works well with older types of seasonings like bay, rosemary, thyme, oregano, and such. It's also very versatile and lends itself well to roasting, baking, grilling, and braising. Um, it pairs very well with boldly flavored vegetables like onions, peppers, and tomatoes. Our recipe today is going to be a synthesis of the things we came across in our research and using our own sense of what might work as a guide. Let's hope that we're successful. So here's our cast of characters, more or less, in order of appearance. I have two uh, shoulder, or, uh, excuse me, lamb chops, uh, total weight of about 1.3 pounds. I'm going to generously salt and pepper them, and I'm going to pop them in the skillet, where I'm going to have about three tablespoons of olive oil, nice and hot. And I'm going to brown them well on both sides. Uh, at that point I'm going to remove the lamb chops from the skillet, put them on a plate and set them aside. And I'm going to have the onions sliced and the garlic cloves chopped up. And we're going to stir fry those in the skillet uh, until they turn translucent, nice and aromatic. And once that happens, we're going to deglaze it with a cup of beef bouillon. You can use canned beef broth or you can make your own. And a cup of red table wine. Here we're using Rose's Cafe House Wine. Um, I'm going to stir that around, make sure I get all the good bits off the bottom of the pan, all those good little crispy parts from the browning. I'm going to add some seasonings here. I have some rosemary. Uh, some thyme, fresh, and a couple of dried bay leaves right there. We're going to add that in. We're going to stir it around good. Then we're going to add the lamb chops back to the skillet. And then we're going to bake it in the oven. When the lamb chops are close to getting done, we're going to add some red bell peppers and zucchini and we're going to finish it out and have those vegetables nice and roasted along with the lamb. The olive oil is nice and hot and I've applied the salt and pepper to the lamb chops rather generously. So now it's time to add them to the pan and brown them on both sides. Now while we have the pork chops, or excuse me, the lamb chops, got pork on the brain, never cooked lamb before, but while they are browning, we want to slice, peel and slice our onion. So you have a lot of half moon shaped pieces, something like that, that'll be just fine. You also want to peel and chop up your garlic cloves. Now the chops are browned well on both sides, so we're going to move them to a plate for now and set them aside. Now turn the heat down to about medium and add your onions and garlic that you just chopped up. You want to stir these around until they're nice and translucent and aromatic. Now, as you cook these onions, you'll notice that there are lots of little dark brown bits of stuff on the bottom of the pan left over from browning your chops. That's good stuff. You want that in uh, this sauce because those are like little flavor bombs. Now when the onions get about to this point we want to deglaze it by adding 
supposed to cut the bouillon or be stock and then a cup of wine. And we want to stir that around. Be sure you get these little flavor bombs all up off the bottom. We're also at this point going to add our bay, rosemary, and thyme. I wanted to make this last week, but I didn't have the time. <laughs> Once we get that mixed around well, we want to add back the chops. And that one's coming apart. Don't worry about that. That's not a problem at all. You'll see why later. Get your chops added back in there. And you want to make sure that they're covered with the sauce and with the onions as much as you can. Just get some of that good stuff right there, right, of, right up on top of the chops. Now when you're satisfied with it, you want to add a cover. And you want to put the whole thing, lid, skillet, and all, right inside your 300 degree oven. Make sure the lid and the skillet you use is oven safe. Uh, most of the time it'll say something about it on the box when you buy the item. Now, while you're waiting for the half hour to be up, or excuse me, the hour and a half to be up for your lamb to roast, you can prepare the other vegetables, the zucchini, and you can chop it any way you want to. I like to do something a little bit fancy. As for your red bell peppers, you would like to, of course, remove the stems and the seeds and slice them as much as possible into long strips. Okay then, an hour and a half is up and let's see what we've got. Looks pretty good getting pretty tender. The idea should be for the meat to be fork tender by the time we're done. So now it's time to add the rest of our vegetables and cook it a while longer. At this point we want to add the red peppers that we cut up earlier. And we'd like to add the zucchini. Now we're going to return this to the oven uncovered for about another half hour or so. So we've roasted our vegetables for about a half hour at 300 as well. So let's plate this up and see what we've got. So here is Rose's Cafe Special Lamb Chops. I'm going to pair it with, of course, a glass of Rose's Cafe House Red. And let's see what it tastes like. Ready? Here we go. The zucchini is just right, very flavorful. A little bit off rusca, which I like. And the lamb itself. Mmm, excellent. Excellent. I pronounce this an A number one dish. So, if there's nothing else, I want to go ahead and finish my dinner. Don't forget to visit us next time here at Rose's Cafe. Thanks for joining us. Bye now.